Uh, we are going over to your colleague, Jason Lee. I hope he's online. Uh, you can already turn on your camera, if so. Yes. Hello, hello um, Jason. Hi, I think I hear you. Um, Jason Lee is a machine learning engineer at ML6, and uh, he will tell you why you should choose data science uh, as a career. Hi, there you are. Um, Maybe you can start with a really small introduction or tell a bit about your background in like one minute. Yes, all right. Let me quickly share my screen first. I prepared slides as well. All right, I guess you can see my screen now. Yes, we can. Okay, so today I will talk about why I choose data science as a career. Uh, and as you asked, of course, I uh, first I will introduce myself. So my name is Jason Lee. And I'm originally from China, and I actually did my master in Belgium at KU Leuven for two years in computer science. So I did my study there, and then I wanted to work in Amsterdam. I was looking for a data science job, so I didn't. I landed here in Amsterdam at MSX, and now yeah, I'm my daily work is uh, doing machine learning stuff, and it's I really enjoy it. And so today, yeah, today I will uh, tell you a bit what I do uh, and what, what we do as data scientists. Uh, so yeah, but I'm not going to emphasize uh, the difference between data science, data engineer, and machine learning engineer. Uh, instead, I will just give an overview of data science uh, and what can you expect uh, if you do data science uh, as your job. So to start with, uh, we want to answer this question, uh, why choose data science as a career? Uh, so I think the, uh, the answer is simple, uh, because data scientist is the sexiest job of the 21st century. And why is that? Uh, because just like described here, uh, data scientists, uh, they can both manipulate large and unstructured data sources uh, and create insights from them. Data scientists are difficult to hire and retrain, but their skills will be necessary to any organization wishing to profit from big data. So as you might notice already, uh, nowadays we are doing a lot of uh, Cool, uh, cool stuff. Uh, there are a lot of uh, advanced technologies uh, leveraged by big data, uh, and these are actually uh, really exciting. Uh, yeah, they could be also very challenging, uh, but they are really cool topics. Uh, and yeah, doing this kind of job is very challenging but very interesting. Uh, meanwhile, so. When you get a data science job, uh, it's actually different people uh, think uh, in different ways. So the society thinks uh, you're building some uh, cool robots, uh, and indeed they are robotics. Uh, and we do do some, uh, for, for example, reinforcement learning for robotics. Uh, yeah, we do control robots, but we are not on a Terminator level yet. And we won't see that uh, sky night in a few years. Uh, so that's not a big issue now. And what your friend will think is probably that they think you are really a geek. You know a lot of mathematics. Uh, so you think you think you are a genius in doing all this uh, kind of hard to understand stuff. Uh, but actually, yes, you do need some uh, math from fundamentals such as calculus, linear algebra, or probabil probabilities, statistics. Uh, but I think you don't have to be on a master level. Uh, you do need to know the reasons behind the theories behind. Uh, but you don't have to. Master uh, mathematics, if you want, if you want to be a data scientist, and your boss would think, yeah, uh, they would think you can do all these magics. Uh, you can make these rabbits uh, coming out of nowhere. Uh, and indeed, uh, with our, with our fancy technologies, uh, we do uh, we can create a lot of magics nowadays using AI. And but actually, for mathematicians, uh, they know us better than the others. Uh, they know these are actually very cute. Uh, we don't need very strong fundamentals in mathematics, but we are achieving a lot of, uh, uh, we are doing a lot of uh, fancy stuff. And so it's very interesting. Uh, and what I think I do, uh, I'm not necessarily seeing the world as a superman, uh, but I think we are uh, using, uh, indeed using data science uh, technologies. Uh, we are indeed creating a lot of impacts and we are creating a lot of values. Uh, so we are definitely doing a lot of valuable things. And yes, uh, how do we do these valuable things? Uh, is that we need to go to GitHub and Stack Overflow when we get stuck. And this kind of website can always solve a lot of problems, but still you need to have the knowledge in your head. Uh, 
So yeah, uh, moving on, uh, we still want to answer this question, why data science is uh, charming, uh, this is important. And for myself, uh, my answer would be because it solves some problems that we were, not, we were not able to solve using traditional techniques. So what kind of problems was that difficult for us? Uh, so let's take natural language processing as an example. So natural language processing basically wants the computers to understand natural languages and make actions uh, according to natural languages. Uh, so as an example, uh, let's say we have this sentence, uh, why choose data science as a career? And now we want to ask uh, the computers instead of asking humans, we ask the computer. So how can our computer program uh, verify if this is a valid sentence? Valid means does it make any sense? Is it uh, correct? Uh, is it grammat grammatically correct? And so we are going to, yeah, if we think about this, uh, I hope not everyone here are deep learning experts so that we don't have to jump into deep learning already. We will start simple uh, from a brief history of language models. So actually from last centuries uh, between 1950 and 1990, so people were already thinking about this question. So they were already using computers and they already want the computers to be more intelligent, to be more smart, to be able to understand human languages. So their approaches uh, was mostly rule-based models. So what is rule-based models? So basically rule-based models, you really want to create a program that can analyze the sentences, you can split it into different terms, different literals, and to really for example, build a parse tree to really understand the structure of this sentence, and then you can uh, validate it. You can validate if it's a, a valid uh, sentence. But actually, yeah. So actually, they were doing a lot of techniques uh, such as uh, grammatical analysis, syntactic analysis, semantic analysis. These were all needed, uh, and these were implemented uh, based on rule-based systems. But actually, there weren't too many breakthroughs uh, used, uh, in this direction uh, because there were certain difficulties. For example, in order to cover 20% of real world sentences, you need more than 10,000 rules. And actually, there are also conflicts exist between rules. So more rules are, are needed if you, depending on the context of the uh, sentences. So that, that made it um, more and more complicated. Uh, so people uh, didn't really, uh, so people didn't uh, make a lot of uh, achievement on this path. So some people were thinking, okay, maybe they were, they were doing it wrong. Uh, there could be other solutions. Uh, so people were uh, thinking about, okay, what if we don't analyze the rules of the sentences? Instead, we can simply calculate the probabilities of seeing these sentences. So as an example, uh, if we have the sentence, the cat sat on the mat, uh, we can tell, okay, 95% this is a valid sentence because we've seen it in a book, uh, we've seen it in many places, so probably this is something being spoken by human, so we can say, okay, this could be a, a grammatically correct sentence. And so we can, so basically the objective uh, becomes that uh, we want to calculate the probability of seeing this sentence, why choose data science as a career? And we can uh, do a bit more math, uh, not as not as much as mathematicians, uh, just on data scientist levels. Uh, so we just, if we want to, if we want to get this probability, uh, you can first calculate the probabilities of seeing y, and then you multiply it with the probabilities of seeing truth after y, and then you multiply with uh, the probability of seeing data after y truth, and you do a lot of these uh, multiplications, and at the end you will get this probability. You can even make it simpler uh, by just um, uh, take, uh, by just uh, getting the probabilities of adjacent uh, word pairs, so you don't look at the whole sentence every time. So it makes it uh, way simpler. Uh, you can easily calculate these probabilities by counting the word pairs in the crops. So what is a crops? A crops is a large text uh, data set. Basically, it can be like a Wiki Wikipedia. So that's that's a, that's a lot of valid sentences that you can learn from. So people were switching to this approach and they actually beat most of the rule, most of the rule based learning approaches. So they started to realize maybe we don't need to uh, understand what's behind uh, natural language, but instead we can look at the probabilities, we look at statistics, we look uh, how frequent it can happen, uh, we, look, uh, we just uh, imitate how humans speak. So this became 
uh, the new direction until now. Uh, so from 20, uh, from 2012 till now, as you know, there's uh, deep learning coming up. Uh, so what is deep learning? Uh, I can say it's machine learning methods based on neural networks and big data. So basically, uh, it wasn't something new. Uh, neural networks was already proposed a uh, long time ago, uh, but recently, because we have more computation powers, uh, because we have more GPUs, uh, so with this development, uh, we can really gather more data and uh, use more data to train our neural networks. So basically, we can train complex end-to-end -end neural network models to fit the data distribution. But still, don't forget, uh, this is we are still solving the probability uh, probability problem. Uh, deep learning is just an approach to fit your model uh, to the data distribution. So it's actually still based on the statistics. So after all this development uh, with deep learning, uh, we have a lot of uh, cool applications nowadays, such as machine translation, sentiment analysis, chatbot, uh, text generation, you name it. Uh, these, are, these are even just the NLP applications and they are more with computer vision uh, or yeah, other domains as well. So yeah, these are really cool. Uh, so if you are doing data science job, uh, you might be involved in developing these applications and yeah, I guess uh, it's really, at least it's very charming for me. Uh, that's one of the biggest reasons why I choose to do this. Uh, it's also very challenging in, at, at the same time. And then we come back to this question again and again and again. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I don't have to answer this myself uh, since we, are, we have smart computer programs nowadays and we can ask them to answer this question. So I asked GPT-2, uh, why choose data science as a career? So he answers, so data science is about using data to help solve problems. And in today's world, the best job is often in the data science field. As a career, data scientists are more likely to be paid better than those in other industries. And they have more opportunities to advance their careers. And it's actually very interesting that uh, it gives this answer because you know this answer is based on the probability, based on the statistics and based on the language based on the sentences that people really speak every day. So it's kind of, it kind of rivals uh, the general idea of uh, human of ourselves. Uh, yes, and it's more honest than me because I didn't want to cover the money topic, but indeed uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, you, as GPT-2 said, yeah, you might get better paid. Uh, so that's uh, also a good thing. But you know, money doesn't come out of nowhere. Uh, there is a reason you can get a lot of profit uh, because by applying data science, you can really solve complex problems and you can really create a lot of values. And hence there's a high demand in the job market for data scientists or data engineer, machine learning engineer uh, as well. And if you look at the AI industries, uh, there are way too many companies doing this nowadays. Uh, uh, so it's not, so actually I think AI industries is not like a specific companies in doing some AI research. Instead, it's more like a general technology that can be applied to every, everywhere to, in any domains. So for example, uh, logic compliance, uh, customer management, finance, security, industrial manufacturing, yeah, whatever. Yeah, all these companies, they can leverage their business. They can gain more profits uh, by applying data science. So it's becoming more and more useful. It's not, it's not only about uh, specific techniques that you do some research uh, in a uh, specific field. So what actually is data science job? Uh, why it's different with uh, traditional software developers? So for traditional software development, what you do is you can develop really cool uh, applications on your laptop or on your phone. Uh, it can be really fancy. Uh, and you can also build, for example, websites, shopping online, uh, whatever. Uh, but all these programs, they are implementing a certain logics that you predefined. Uh, so basically, they have uh, they can expect uh, certain inputs, and they are just they are just a sophisticated uh, logic systems. At the end, they will get the input and give you the uh, expected output, uh, and that should work correctly because the logic should be correct. And then uh, you, you can do uh, these functions basically. But for a uh, data science developer, uh, what you do is uh, I would say you are trying to make uh, computers smart. 
they're trying to make computers solving some problems that human can solve. Uh, for example, if you if you can detect cars and pedestrians on the road, uh, on the street, so you can probably build uh, auto-driving cars. So, and also you can analyze uh, the voice and do some voice recognition, and then you can have some something like Siri on your phone. So these are all, uh, they are trying to make computers, uh, uh, trying to make them understand human and do some human jobs. Uh, it's more than logics that we define. Uh, and they do these human jobs based on the statistic statistical models that we built, uh, which is uh, neural networks for deep learning. And uh, more specifically, uh, if you do data science job, you can either be a researcher or an engineer. So researcher, you are really doing some research. Uh, you modify these model architectures. You are trying to push it, push the accuracy or performance uh, to a new level. Uh, you are doing something uh, that nobody has ever done, and that's that's cool. Uh, but yeah, it's quite difficult. Uh, and also, you can choose to be an engineer. Engineer solves actual problems in the uh, in the real world. Uh, so basically you get the data and you can choose your model and you try to fit uh, the data with your model. You try to find uh, the best model to solve these actual problems and create values. And what we do at MSX, uh, I hope already mentioned, uh, so we are a consultancy company. Uh, so we work for our customers. So our customers normally they throw us their raw data and they also throw us a bunch of questions uh, and they want to solve some questions or they want to get more values uh, from their raw data. And so what we can do is first, we can analyze and transform this data. Uh, if it's big data, we can also use some cloud, plat cloud platforms such as uh, Dataflow, uh, yeah, to process big data for, for small data. Yeah, small data, you can just do it locally or whatever you like uh, and then you get the data set uh, so data set is more like structured data that you can further uh, analyze uh, for, uh, or train your machine learning models on top of it so then what we can do as a machine learning engineer we can pre-process the data choose ml models and we can fine-tune the hyperparameters so basically we want to find the best match uh, uh, the best matching model and try to fine-tune the model to fit this data set to make it working well and we get the ml models and at the end, when you have the model working, you can optimize it. Uh, for example, you can use TensorRT or some uh, nowadays uh, fancy uh, uh, technologies uh, to prune the model, to optimize it, to make it smaller, to make it faster. Uh, and then you can deploy it. Uh, normally you can deploy it on the cloud or also just you can just uh, send the program. And as long as it's working correctly, then you're good. Uh, then you will have happy customers normally. And actually, you, you might already notice uh, different colors here. So because we have two different roles, so data engineer, they try to solve the, uh, they try to analyze and transform the data, and they can also take care of the deployment of the models. But for ML engineers, uh, we really focus on the model. Uh, we really tune the model and uh, yeah, to study the models and to fit the data into the model, we build the model. But actually at ML6, uh, we sometimes as ML6 agent, we need to do all of these steps uh, because machine learning is not only about processing data or training the model. Uh, you should consider it as a whole process and you, you should be familiar with all these steps uh, to be successful in your projects. And that's it. Uh, hope it wasn't too long. Uh, if you have any questions. Yeah, thank you, Jay Sully. Right in time, thank you very much. I think you gave the attendees uh, great insights in what it's like to be uh, a machine learning engineer. Very interesting uh, to hear about this. Um, let's see, we do have a question from one of the attendees, which is um, someone has um, professional experience for six years in Java and is currently doing a, a master in data science. Do you think that this experience with Java like counts when you applying for a job as a machine learning engineer or maybe as a data engineer? Yes, I think it's definitely helpful. Uh, I mean, if you want to be a data engineer or machine learning engineer, right? Uh, you first need to be an engineer. Uh, so I think you need you really need to know how to program and you better know how does uh, what the system work and how how yeah, you, you should know this simple, uh, this basic components instead of just knowing how to use TensorFlow or 
pandas or numpy i think good foundations are very important uh, maybe you feel like you are in lack of some data science knowledge uh, but you can i think you can easily learn them uh, and then with this uh, firm foundations on this programming uh, i think you can really uh, get a good position or yeah you can really do it well i believe there's definitely a benefit. Do you also hire like graduates or do you prefer people or do you hire more people which already have uh, work experience? Uh, we have a lot of graduates. Uh, I was a graduate uh, one year ago. So, <laughs> uh, okay. yes, so we are really, uh, we have a young team and we are really uh, uh, passionate, I would say. Uh, people here, are, yeah, all my colleagues, we are really uh, fans of uh, technologies. Uh, they are enthusiastic. Uh, right. If you are enthusiastic, yeah, of course you can uh, get a similar job, or yeah, you will enjoy working as a data scientist. Okay, thank thank you, Jay Lee. Thank you very much. Uh, 